everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to be comparing Popovi bodies 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is a video I have been promising you guys for a while and I just haven't had the energy to make it. For some reason, comparison videos like suck the life right out of me. I don't know why, but anyway, I'm going to go through and I'm going to kind of briefly tell you about each body type and then I'm going to compare the four types together. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to move the dolls out of the frame of the camera because the camera won't autofocus when they're all there. So, but they'll be all coming back. So, we're going to start with body one. Okay, body one is the simplest body that they have. It's got the least amount of details and it's also the least expensive. You have less details in the knees. Um, it still has a double jointed knee. You're still going to have either your ballet feet or your heeled feet, which are going to be the same regardless of which body you get. You're going to get the same feet on the feet are all the same for each body. Let me put it like that. The hands also, last time I checked, there were five types of hands. So the hands are also going to be the same depending on which body you get. Um, you can ask for whichever hands. Like I asked, I think these are hands five. I asked for these specifically with this body and you see that's the way the magnetic hands work. But overall, the body just has less detailing. You've got a fairly um, small chest. You've got one joint here in the shoulders and then in the waist area, um, you can see there's not any additional jointing here. You know, you've just got um, this one solid piece. It's really beautiful and that's it. So you've got, you do have a double jointed elbow. The neck is not jointed. You've got this one joint in the torso. And again, there's less detailing here in the sculpting of the body number one. And, but it's less expensive too. So that's the thing. Like this body last time when I ordered, body one was $800. So $800 includes the body, the hands, the feet, and the head. So I got a magpie head for mine. And the heads are all the same too, regardless of which bodies you get. Now, body two, I have um, Cuckoo, and this one is painted by the sisters. And you can get body two with a jointed neck. I got her with the solid neck, um, just because I like that long, elegant neck. Also, you can see the sisters include the flower when you get the doll painted by them. So I tied it around her neck, because they do that, and I think it's really beautiful. Um, what you have with body two is more detailing. So this sculpt, you've got a little more detailing like in the rib cage. So, um, well, actually not really. I think, see, here's another thing too. A lot of it depends on who your painting artist is as well, because the way paint is done and shaded, it does make a big difference on the way things look. So this one, um, and this color of this doll is beige. This one is ivory. So things do look a little bit different. Now, what I'm going to show you guys for her is the, the same, like, sculpting on the stomach so you've got you can see there's some definition there where this one um, it also has definition but I think it's not quite as detailed you can see if I can move her hands out of the way you can see there is a little bit more detail in the ivory doll and that's not just from painting that's actual sculpting you can see there's a difference there in the anatomical sculpting of the doll the chest size is the same though for both dolls now the chest is a little bit different but it is the same size and if you look at the knees of um of my cuckoo they are more detailed whoops i bumped them right into the camera lens the knee is a little bit more detailed of a sculpt on the body two so i'm going to show you body one next to body two and this is also not a painting thing this is there's actual difference in detail level here so there's an actual difference in the sculpting of the knee there and you've just got more detail in that body two um, because body two is more detailed again the feet and the hands are going to be the same um, regardless of which body you get I don't remember this might be hands four maybe hands three I don't know um, and then I got healed feet for her 
but the heeled feet again regardless of which doll you get the heeled feet are going to be the same sculpted feet so we've got a joint in the chest piece um, we don't have an extra joint here. We've got the legs, double jointed knee, double jointed elbow. You can order body two with a jointed neck, but I ordered mine without. So now let's look at body number three. So body number three, um, here, here's that one. And this is my Tawny Owl. I don't remember what they call this chocolate color for their dolls, but you know, she's the, the dark chocolate color. And I had, y'all, I ordered a special outfit from Mini Stitches just for this video and I couldn't find it anywhere. I don't know where I put it. I put it away for safekeeping. So she borrowed my Stasia dolls outfit for this. So um, the big difference that I noticed with this doll is she has a bigger chest and the chest is very pointy on bot body three. It's a very, very pointy perky chest also mine does it has an extra joint in the chest so you can see back here there's an extra joint in this chest piece where body two does not have that extra joint it's just one solid um let me move her because it wants to autofocus on her it's just one solid piece but when you bring when you look at body three there's an extra joint in that chest piece there chest piece not chest piece um, but anyway so you can see kind of the difference here and again a lot of this is going to be now these are both painted by the sisters um, but you can see like you know the detail of the sculpting there on the dolls and um, you know it's just really beautiful sculpting I feel like the biggest difference though with this body three is that extra joint there in the chest and then the the chest size itself is much larger than body one or body two it is a much perkier and larger chest so that being said let's look at body number four and body number four we have the same um bonus joint in the chest you can see that here but the 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 breast itself is more natural it's more like a teardrop shape and it's a more natural shape and it sits more naturally on the body which i know that it's hard for you guys to see with them being fully clothed but you know i have to fully clothe them but you know back to back well this doesn't fit her exactly right either you might be able to tell if you really want to see my nude comparison of these two dolls it will be over on my patreon um, you can join that for as low as two dollars a month if you want to support this channel and you want to get access to exclusive content like doll nudity but of course you can go over to the Popovi sisters webpage and you can see um, the dolls photograph nude there so you can see what they look like but with the body four um, again you still have the beautiful details of the sculpt You've got a jointed neck, you've got that extra joint in the chest, but to me the big difference is this chest is a little bit different. The knees, the, the thighs are also a little bit different to me. So when you look at body three versus body two, the body, um, I'm sorry, body three versus body four, the body four has like a thicker, more athletic thigh. So the thick, it's like a little bit thicker, a little more athletic. You can see like the knees are a little bit bigger. Overall, I prefer body four to body three. All in all, my favorite body is probably body two. I like body two the best. Um, but body two and body four are my two favorite bodies for these dolls. These two girls lost their wigs, the first two. So my favorite bodies, like I said, overall, body two and body four are my two favorites. I like the simplicity of body two, like without the neck joint. So that was one of the things that really drew me to that. But you still have the beautiful detailing of the sculpting in that body. Body one is great too. You know, if you're getting your first Popovi doll and you want to save, you know, a hundred bucks, go with body one. It's fun to just hold. They're very exquisite regardless of which body you get. Um, you know, they're fun to hold in your hands and they pose very well, very exquisitely. You know, they can each kind of do the same poses. Like you can pull their, you know, legs all the way back behind them in this gorgeous, you know, double jointed, um, I don't know what you would call that, but they all will do that. And that's the beauty of these dolls is how well they pose and how beautifully sculpted they are um, when you pose them. So you can see, like that one. If 
you want to do that that's always my test for me is how does the knee pose like how are you able to you know pose that double jointed knee and these are really suited so there we go so you can see like they all do pretty well with that um but again my favorite bodies are going to be body two and body four i like body four compared to body three because um i like the the shape of the chest better i think it's more natural it's not like that crazy um pointy unnatural perky chest like we have on this body you know now that i'm looking at them down here these legs might not be any thicker it may just be a painting difference that i'm i think it looks thicker i don't know though they they might they seem a little bit thicker to me but i could be wrong they might be exactly the same legs the only difference might be the i'm just gonna look at them here side by side the only difference might be the shape of the chest to be honest now that i'm really looking at them that's the thing about making these comparison videos it's so hard to tell sometimes because even with the painting difference like you can look at the torsos and they look completely different but they might be really the same it may be the same exact piece cast in the same exact mold but it's really difficult for me to tell sometimes just because of the the resin color makes a difference and again the painting makes a difference but if you're trying to decide which body to get they're all good probably my least favorite body um it might be body one i don't know i like body one though i mean it's and the thing about it is it's you know less expensive if you're on a serious popovi budget but you really want a popovi body one's a great way to go um but definitely two and four between two and four they're my favorites if i were going to order another doll well if i were going to order another doll i'd try to get the venus body since i don't have one of those i would try to get the venus body with the solid torso um, but if I were going to order another doll in this size, I would most likely order body two again, if that helps you make your decision. I like the shape and size of this chest better than this one, but I like the solid neck on this one, and I like the solid chest piece. I don't love having the extra joint in the chest here and i don't love having that extra neck joint so that's kind of like my analysis of the four body types of popovi um again they're all beautiful they're all beautifully sculpted but if you're just trying to make a decision for yourself i hope that helps you guys out again if you want to see the nude comparison from me um you know you can join my patreon that's going to be up on my on my patreon sometime later this month will be the the nude comparison of these stalls and that'll give you a good idea but again you can kind of going off of what i've said here with the four dolls you can look at the popovi's um website and you can see the pictures and that might help you piece together kind of what these look like uh as far as you know size and shape and things like that but that is my preference for them um, but they all move great so if you really just care about posability and you're not interested in like the super detailed kneecaps which like i said body one they're still detailed but they're just not this level of detail that body um two three and four have they're just a simpler kneecap and everything's just a little bit simpler overall the sculpting is just not quite as refined on this body one so anyway guys i hope this was helpful for you if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up that really helps my channel out please subscribe if you're not subscribed and we will see you guys in the next video bye bye i want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from patreon Lindsay s leah w jenny c doreen z janice h mercedes w angela e cindy k bear sunflower diane b and kelly l your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great dolly content to find out how you can help support this channel, be sure to check the link in the description of this video. Thank you.